Just for scale, there are 38 million people in California, there are 325 million people in the United States, and there are 1.1 billion people on Earth that are physiologically malnourished. I read that in a, uh, an article by Dixon Despommier, he was basically the founder of indoor farming. So 1.1 billion people really tried to sit on that for a while, and that sunk in. Um, and that really kicked us off, that gave, it, gave us a little bit more fervour, a little bit more energy to get into this and that's why we named the company after that. Uh, we are trying to build the first ever fully automated indoor farm. So not only are we bringing the farm indoors, we're trying to build a robotic automation system that completely automates the germination, the cultivation, the harvest and the sanitation of indoor cultivated plants. With indoor farming matched with aeroponics, you have control over absolutely everything. So outdoors in a farm, you have very loose control over the soil, you have no control over the sunlight, the temperature, the humidity, the rain, the pests, all those kinds of things. When you're inside, you have control over all these things. So you control the LED lights, you control the humidity with a dehumidifier, you control the temperature with HVAC. Um, you control the spacing with the structures, you control the nutrient uptake rate. So aeroponics can build about 40% more root mass, be about 40% faster than hydroponics, and it can be about 200% faster than a soil grown plant. So if you grow a lettuce in 60 days out in Salinas, we can grow it in about 25 or 30. Then you've got monitoring automation. So human beings are extremely good at monitoring plants. They've been doing it for 10,000 years. So when a human being is going up and down, on a farm, they're using their eyes to basically determine the health of the plant. So if you, take a, if you take a photo of those plants and then you send that photo into an image processing algorithm, a sophisticated image, image processing algorithm, the image processing algorithm can figure out the size of the plant, what the plant is, whether or not it's photosynthetically healthy, whether or not there's an aphid infestation, whether or not there's disease, whether or not there's nitrogen burn, phosphorus deficiencies, all of these things you can determine just by looking at it. The largest benefits of indoor farming is that we completely eliminate seasonality. Um, we, we can't grow trees. We're not, we choose not to grow wheat and soybean and those kinds of things. But if you're looking to get peak of the season kale, we can grow that all year round. We have no issue with that, and that's actually what our system is best at doing. Um, eventually, we'll do we'll doing the same thing with strawberries and tomatoes. So instead of importing all of our tomatoes up from Mexico, we can grow them 15 minutes from the store. And then you can have, as I said before, you can have these really specialized, unique varietals of tomatoes that only 1.1 grows that uh, these people have literally never tasted them before. 